Hi. The reason that I did not give up on God and the Bible when I left the Jehovah's Witnesses was that I could now see a continuity in Scripture of God's purpose, His divine plan. It would Now I could see it as a continuous thing. Whereas when I was a witness, it was kind of plan A and then plan B when A failed. So as a Jehovah's Witness, I thought God's plan with Israel had failed. That was plan A. And then plan B was Jesus and the Apostles. And that also really fails in the, in the theology of the witnesses because a period of time goes by where there's a need for the organization to come about, Plan C. So now, when I was reading scripture from Genesis to Revelation without the watchtower lenses, I could see continuity, even in the bad stuff, I could see that God had a plan and so that the testimony of scripture was not the faith not about the faithfulness of man but about the faithfulness of God and so the sheer weight of scriptures that I read convinced me that the Bible was was a rock that I could put my trust in and that I shouldn't rest my faith in an organization which I had done as a Jehovah's Witness uh, um, in previous videos, we mentioned uh, a project that David and I had put together with problems we had with the Watchtower. Uh, the eight reasons we were disfellowshipped, if you're looking for it, the other videos. In the section about whose promises, uh, about really the Watchtower stealing Israel's promises, I wanted to read you a section from that. Uh, this is uh, outlining the hopes of different individuals in Scripture, starting with Abraham. So I'm going to read to you from the project, and it's direct quotes from the Watchtower Bible, the New World Translation. The Hope of Abraham. This is from Genesis chapter 12 and chapter 13. I shall make a great nation out of you, and I shall bless you, and I will make your name great and prove yourself a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him that calls down evil upon you I shall curse, and all the families of the ground will certainly bless themselves by means of you. And Jehovah said to Abraham, after Lot had separated from him, Raise your eyes, please, and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward, because all the land at which you are looking, to you and your seed I am going to give it until time indefinite. Then Genesis chapter 17, still the hope of Abraham. And I will carry out my covenant between me and you and your seed after you, according to their generations, for a covenant to time indefinite, to prove myself God to you and to your seed after you. And I will give to you and to your seed after you the land of your alien residences, even the entire land of Canaan, for a possession to time indefinite, and I will prove myself God to them. The hope of Isaac in Genesis 26, chapter 26. To you and to your seed I shall give all these lands, and I will carry out the sworn statement that I swore to Abraham your father, and I will multiply your seed like the stars of the heavens, and I will give to you, to, to your seed, all these lands. And by means of your seed, all nations of the earth will certainly bless themselves. The hope of Jacob, Genesis chapter 35. And God said further to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and become many. Nations 
and a congregation of nations will proceed out of you, and kings will come out of your loins. As for the land that I have given to Abraham and to Isaac, to you I shall give it, and to your seed after you I shall give the land. The Hope of Joseph in Genesis chapter 50 At length Joseph said to his brothers, I am dying, but God will without fail turn his attention to you, and he will certainly bring you up out of this land to the land about which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Hence Joseph made the sons of Israel swear, saying, God will without fail turn his attention to you. Accordingly, you must take my bones up out of here. The Hope of Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and chapter 30. You must become an object of astonishment, a proverbial saying and a taunt among all the peoples to whom Jehovah will lead you away. And Jehovah will certainly scatter you among all the peoples from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. And there you will have to serve other gods whom you have not known, neither you nor your forefathers, wood and stone. And among those nations you will have no ease, nor will there prove to be any resting place for the sole of your foot. And Jehovah will indeed give to, be, to you there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and despair of soul. And you will certainly be in the greatest peril of your life and be in dread night and day. And you will not be sure of your life. And it must occur that when all these words will come upon you, the blessing and the malediction which I have put before you, and you have brought them back to your heart among all the nations where Jehovah your God has dispersed you, and you have returned to Jehovah your God and listened to his voice according to all that I am commanding you today, you and your sons, with all your heart and all your soul, Jehovah your God must also bring back your captives and show you mercy and collect you again from all the peoples where Jehovah your God has scattered you. To your, um, no, sorry. If your dispersed people should be at the end of the heavens, from there Jehovah your God will collect you and from there he will take you. Jehovah your God will indeed bring you into the land of which your fathers took possession, and you will certainly take possession of it, and he will indeed do good and multiply you more than your fathers. And Jehovah your God will have to circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, that you may love Jehovah your God with all your heart and all your soul for the sake of your life. And Jehovah your God will certainly put all these oaths upon your enemies and those who hate you, who have persecuted you. As for you, you will turn and certainly listen to the voice of Jehovah and do all his commandments that I am commanding you today. And Jehovah your God will indeed make you have more than enough in every work of your hand in the fruit of your belly, and the fruit of your domestic animals, and in the fruitage of your soul, soil, resulting in prosperity, because Jehovah will again exalt over you for good, just as he exalted over your forefathers. For you will listen to the voice of Jehovah your God, so as to keep his commandments and his statutes written in this book of the law, because you will return to Jehovah your God with all your heart and all your soul. Also in Deuteronomy chapter 32, When the Most High gave the nations an inheritance, when he parted the sons of Adam from one another, he proceeded to fix the boundary of the peoples with regard for the number of the sons of Israel. For Jehovah's share is his people, Jacob is the allotment that he inherits. 
he came to find him in the wilderness land and in an empty howling desert. He began to encircle him, to safeguard him as the pupil of his eye. For Jehovah will judge his people and he will feel regret over his servants because he will see their support has disappeared and there is only a helpless and worthless one. Be glad, you nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his adversaries and will indeed make atonement for the ground of his people. Next, we will talk about the hope of David and Solomon and others.